What happens when the FEMA unemployment money runs out? Well, that fill in the gap lifeline will soon end, and it's not likely to be extended, not when billions of FEMA dollars are needed for a costly cleanup in the aftermath of Hurricane Laura. But given that many more people have applied for unemployment assistance since President Trump used an executive order to dip into that federal money pool, that financial boost is needed now more than ever. <laughs> Hi, my name is Lou Reyes, and welcome to Over 50 TV. If you want to stay up to date on the latest work and money news, then subscribe to our channel, subscribe to Over 50 TV. Last Thursday, the Department of Labor reported over 1.6 million new claims for unemployment insurance. Now, this number includes over a million new unemployment claims, plus another 607,000 people who applied for pandemic unemployment assistance. That's the separate program for self-employed and gig workers. In total, a whopping 27 million people are now receiving some form of state unemployment insurance. Now, I don't have to tell you the state unemployment benefits alone are not enough to help unemployed workers pay their bills, let alone do much to help prop up an ailing U.S. economy, an economy that benefited greatly from the billions of dollars that unemployed workers spent when they received their enhanced unemployment benefits from the CARES Act. But those benefits, they ended on July 31st. Fortunately, most of those folks, they'll receive a federal unemployment check courtesy of FEMA. But that money, that money that President Trump decreed in an executive order earlier this month, that money, it's guaranteed for just four weeks. So again, the question, the question that many unemployed workers are asking nervously, worrying about is what happens, what happens when the FEMA money runs out? Before I answer that question, let's talk about where we're at today. Right now, about 27 million people are receiving some form of unemployment insurance. They receive on average $320 per week, and that's according to data from the U.S. Department of Labor. But we know that alone, it's not enough for them to pay their bills or to put food on their table. So the weekly $300 to $400 FEMA check, it's welcome. Many of them, though, haven't received that money yet, but they'll restart receiving those funds in the next couple weeks. It's definitely helpful, but it's a far cry from the $600 per week unemployed workers were receiving from the CARES Act. So let me try to answer the question, what happens when the FEMA money runs out? Well, we know it will likely last just about four weeks. So unless President Trump can pull another rabbit out of the FEMA hat, it's unlikely that unemployed workers can expect another check from 500 C Street. The president, what we expect he'll do is he'll probably look for another federal pot to dip into. In the meantime, households will once again try to stretch their weekly $320 on average unemployment check benefit. Many unemployed workers will hope to be called back to work or they'll continue to look for a new job or maybe just maybe they'll shoot for a completely new career. But given how the latest stimulus talks have dragged on, most unemployed workers, they can't and they probably shouldn't count on lawmakers for help. Unfortunately, they may not be able to count on a recovering economy either. The Washington Post is reporting that economists are warning that the labor market recovery that began in May, it could be in jeopardy. Pointing in part to the steady stream of new unemployment claims that continue to be made week after week. Several states they're also noting layoffs in industries that up to now had not been directly affected by shutdowns, industries like administrative services, health care, and manufacturing. I wouldn't count out a job at a small business, but I wouldn't count on one either. Last month, Yelp, the review site, they reported of all business closures since March 1st, 55% will never reopen. Restaurants and retailers, they're especially a hard hit. Black-owned businesses... They've been devastated, with 41% of them expected to never reopen. Here's what else unemployed workers will do when the FEMA money runs out, regardless of frustration. Frustration that really borders on anger with Washington lawmakers. Many folks will still look to Congress for help. Maybe now that their pony show that they call a political convention is over. Maybe now they'll decide to switch their focus back to jobs and the economy. Maybe, though, maybe I'm giving them too much credit. Given the animosity that they obviously have for each other, were they ever really focused on jobs in the economy during their negotiation sessions? 
or was that just a dog and pony show too? Regardless of all that, what well, we know that as of now, there are no substantive meetings scheduled between the two warring parties in Washington. With the U.S. experiencing the greatest health and economic crisis in over 100 years, it's shameful, shameful that congressional leaders from both parties have been unable and unwilling to resolve their differences. Is it America first or is it Congress first? You be the judge. This is Lou Reyes with Over 50 TV. If you would, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. You can do that easily. Just go ahead and hit that little red button. I will always try to give you the latest news about work and money for you and especially for people over 50. Have a great day, everybody.